All right, hello doers. My name is Jose Ignacio, and in this series of videos, we're going to talk about manufacturing. Only instead of you know jumping right into Odoo, as I always tell you, no chit chat and that type of stuff. Today, we'll first learn a bit about how manufacturing actually works. Now, I'm going to explain the usual way a product is sourced. It is created and delivered along with how each supporting department functions. So that by the end of the video, you'll have a real world understanding around the manufacturing process. Now, the nice thing about Odoo is that all of our material operations from procurement to engineering and to assembly and even to shipment and more are done within the same platform. Every step of the manufacturing process is completed within Odoo. And this occurs in live time across different departments and all on the same screen. You don't have to go anywhere. Now, in the typical manufacturing process, the first step is for the engineers to design the product. Can have stuff that doesn't exist. They usually work with some type of computer-assisted design software, otherwise known as CAD, such as AutoCAD or SolidWorks. Now, once the engineers design the product in CAD, they can then create a bill of materials or a bomb for my acronym lovers for shorts. Now, here we could see an engineering breakdown for a bicycle. And as you can see, it's quite simple, but it references every product and sub product required to complete the bike. So we kind of go in depth with that. Now, keep this blueprint in mind, O doers, as we'll learn more about bombs in subsequent videos as well. Now, once that the bomb is done, we'll need to start buying the items required in our manufacturing process. So, we're going to go to another team. And what team is that? That is the purchase team. Also known, though, in a more professional setting as procurement. Now, this team sources material vendors. They sort pricing lists. And they determine how and when components are to be ordered. Either with automated reordering rules or by pulling information from replenishment reports. Now, the procurement team sends out requests for quotations or purchase orders to acquire components and raw materials that aren't in stock. Now, once that these items have arrived at the facility, they'll be received by the inventory team. Now, good inventory management is critical for manufacturing, and I'm going to upsell you because it's Odoo. And the operations begin at reception. So from there, different routes are available for the product, such as Receiving quality checks, got to make sure our stuff is up to par. And specifying storage locations to one or multiple warehouses. And then assigning deeper location assignments, such as, do we throw it into a fridge, a freezer, shelves, boxes? I don't know, and the options are limitless. Now, for any or all of these options, inventory teams can use barcode scanners to easily track incoming or outgoing products, depending on the route that has been assigned to them. Now, next, the responsibility shifts from the inventory to the manufacturing team. Now that we have the materials and they've been secured for production, we can move on. Now, the manufacturing team is responsible for actually producing our goods, which typically occurs in-house on production floors inside of a work center. However, and this is important, in some cases, Manufacturing happens by means of using subcontractors, which usually happens outside the facility. Now, work centers defined, you know, in Odoo are based on different assembly types and purposes, which, by the way, are fully customizable, you know, and you can base them on your needs. And that's another upsell for you, Odooers. Now, along with any required tools and equipment, setup and cleanup times, and things such as expected work duration, and assigning authorized workers to operate the work center as well. You can do all of these things within them. But now the action actually starts once the demand is confirmed for a manufactured item, either usually through a sales order, and then a manufacturing order, or an MO for my acronym lovers again. Now, manufacturing orders involve picking of components, the set of steps for product assembly, managing work centers to complete production on time, and finally, handing off assembled goods to their final storage locations. Now, within a manufacturing order are work orders, which are operational steps a product goes through during production, which, using our bike examples, might include operations like 
wheel assembly, frame assembly, and seat attachment. You need all of those things in a bike, especially a seat. You gotta have a seat. Whereas the MO first outlines and secures all of the components needed through the BOM. The work orders then consume those components in a logical order to produce the good in a specific way. The work orders often include worksheets, which are detailed instructions for the assembly line. Now, after the products are manufactured, we can either store the manufactured product in the warehouse or deliver the goods to the customer. Now, this is when the inventory team comes back in to prepare the order for shipment and when it makes its way to a happy little customer. Now, once the final product has been delivered to the customer, there's a chance the customer might report an issue with it. Hopefully not, but it happens. Now, this will start a new process that requires an additional department, the quality team. Now, when a quality alert is triggered, such as the case with the product return, you know, due to a faulty part, the logistics and inventory teams then proceed to get the faulty product back for further inspection, if that is something that you require in any and all cases. Now, meanwhile, the engineers perform what's called a root cause analysis. RCA, if you want an acronym. Now, that's when they identify the cause of the problem, like a component issue, for example. Now, once the problem is diagnosed, they can either change the components being ordered or they can configure a quality control point so that employees will check any future products or components for the same issue. We're looking at you, Steve. You didn't catch it. Now, quality control points can be added anywhere during the manufacturing life cycle. From reception, production, or in pre-delivery. Honestly, you could check whenever you want to. Now, if there happens to be a problem in the product design itself, an engineering change order will be issued, or, and this is my favorite acronym, ECO, ECO for short, which in turn will trigger an updated BOM to correct the issue through Odoo's PLM app itself. Now, with this, there are version controls to modularly implement new changes or gracefully roll back old ones. So assembly teams always know which bomb version should be used for manufacturing at any given point. And that's extremely useful. Now, the last thing we need is a maintenance program. There are two types of maintenance, corrective and preventative. Now, corrective maintenance involves fixing an already existing issue like repairing a broken tool, while preventative maintenance, on the other hand, consists of preventive, or sorry, preemptive activities, like regular tune-ups to keep our equipment in good working order, which helps prevent work center backlogs from occurring, and also added costs, as you know, Stealthy Wood is struggling a little bit. Now, from the very beginning, when a product is being imagined, until the finished item is delivered to your happy customer, Odoo seamlessly connects all the dots right here. Now you can watch every step of the manufacturing process in Odoo, from ordering that first part to performing your quality check right before delivery. Now, that was a mouthful, Odooers, but it very carefully concludes our basic overview of manufacturing. Now be sure to join us in the preceding videos where we cover each of these topics. You know, and we actually go into further detail so that you can get the most out of using Odoo with your manufacturing operations. It really is an amazing software, you know, for manufacturers, and we can't wait to show you how it works. So have a good one, Odooers. Go grab a snack.